So here in front of us is the destination of today's road trip. It's called the uh, Fenghuang uh, Chun Ancient Village. So the Phoenix Ancient Village, one of the ancient villages here in Shenzhen. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check it out after we found a parking parking lot. So now we are here, found a parking lot, but um, just want to show you because I have one empty can and here's one guy collecting some rubbish and uh, I also want to do in the future a video about recycling in China so I just give him this guy and he's happy because he can he can sell the rubbish and he gets money for it so that's how the recycling works in China not like in Germany with 25 euro cent of, of deposit for each plastic plastic bottle so here in the back of me is the, the village entrance like you've seen before. So a bit of information about Fenghuang village. Um, yeah, it's, it's an ancient village here in Shenzhen, which has a history of over 700 years. And uh, yeah, it's covering an area of what was it, 52,000 square meter and uh, the village is home to 64 buildings built during the Ming and Qing dynasty and uh, 96 buildings built during the period of the Republic of China so and uh, yeah it's one of the best preserved ancient villages in Guangdong And right here in front of me is the Wen Tower. Used to be a four story high. I don't know if I would say it's a pagoda, but now it's six stories. So, yeah, drove here today was like a 45 kilometer ride from downtown Shenzhen, Futian and it took nearly two hours because traffic was bad even though it's freaking Thursday and it's around noon time or right now it's two o'clock all right so this village also has 69 residential buildings 12 temples, 12 ancient wells, 12 ancient trees and 6 main ancient lanes and some of the buildings are over 500 years old and yeah this Wenchang Pagoda is actually the landmark here of Fenghuang village so let's quit the talking and have a look huh Alright, and here at the end of the street, you actually can see the mountain right here. And it's the Fenghuang Park and the Fenghuang Hill. There's also a temple inside. So now here are some old buildings, it's written on 1979. Let's have a look. Huh? Yeah, there are also more than 200 or 2000 sculptures here at the village. There's one of it. Let's explore a little bit the small back alleys, huh? Yeah. 
so you can actually clearly see that all these alleys and houses are renovated I mean I've been in villages look much worse than this see all these small alleys here it's crazy I like it And uh, Feng Huang, if you don't know, means Phoenix. So this village here is called Phoenix Village. There's also uh, actually a Feng Huang in Hunan province, which is also a quite famous tourist destination I've been a couple of years ago. Ah, and here's one of the wells. Yeah, there's supposed to be a couple of wells still working here. Yeah. You can see it here. It's so silent, so calm here. Yeah, there's electricity. And this village was actually founded by Wen Tianxiang, who was born 1236. So Currently 90% of the villagers here are all descendants of, of this Wen Tianxiang and they all have the same family, family name of course. And that's what all those villages or most of the villages are, where like all family clans. But I mean look how beautiful this is here. It's, I'm surprised. And no one is around. Love it. It's really beautiful. Huge spider. This looks like pig saw. So this is actually a sewage system of the village here. Bad inside. Let's go this way. <clears throat> huh. 